What's up, beautiful entrepreneurs? If you're here, you're trying to level up your skincare formulations and learn how to make emulsified products. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to make body cream. This is gonna be a basic recipe so you can really understand the process of making emulsified products and how to make the best body cream at a basic level. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into the video. Body creams are a really fun way to learn how to make emulsified products. And I really love making body creams, especially for myself, because because you can really control what you're putting in, you can control the thickness, you control how it feels on your skin, and it's just a really great product to really learn how to make. When it comes to making body creams, I notice that some people kind of get confused as to a body cream and a body lotion. Now, when it comes to your creams, this is going to be a thicker consistency, it's going to have emulsification that's going on inside of that formula and it's going to have better moisturization qualities than a body lotion. So with your body lotion, this is gonna be a more runny consistency. It's gonna be a lot thinner and it doesn't moisturize as well. This can be great for like, you know, your hand lotions when it comes to like your bathroom or like really light lotions for sunscreen perhaps as well. And when you're out and about in the sun, so that could be a really good lotion for that. But as far as moisturization and really having that thick, similar to body butter then the best would be a body cream so first we're going to get into the overall formula and ingredients of this body cream now first thing you're going to have is water and this is just going to be distilled water and now when it comes to the water levels in your body cream you want to make sure that it's between 50 and 70 percent the amount of water that you add into this formula is going to really help to determine the amount of thickness that you get in the formula as well um, when it comes to it mixing as well with the emulsifying wax and the other butters that you are adding inside of the body cream as well. So you wanna make sure that if you uh, feel it's not thin enough or if it's a little bit too thick, you can always add more water. That'll also help to make the body cream a little bit looser or a little bit thicker as well when it comes to the overall formula. Next ingredient is going to be glycerin. Now glycerin is a wonderful ingredient Ingredient that really helps to retain moisture and hydration in the overall formula. It's a very viscous material. It's going to be very, very thick and it's going to add in a lot more nutrients to the body cream. It helps to lock in moisture on your skin and really create a, a really nice thick formula all together. The next ingredient is going to be fractionated coconut oil. Now in this formula, I'm going to be using a fractionated coconut oil because I want it to still be liquid at room temp. I don't want it to um, harden or anything like that um, when everything starts to cool down. I want it to stay at the you know like at the texture that i'm looking for so using a fractionated coconut oil is really great at this time now if you don't want to use um, fractionated coconut oil you can always use sunflower oil you can use safflower oil um, and you know sweet almond oil those are other oils that you can use in placement of the fractionated coconut oil but this is what i have on hand and i think that the fractionated coconut oil is a really great um, oil when it comes to this formula. Next ingredient is going to be shea butter. Now, shea butter is just a really great ingredient overall to use in this body cream. It's a really great ingredient to add in this formula because with the shea butter, it's going to add in a lot more moisture. This is a lot thicker of a butter and it's going to give you that all that moisture that you are looking for. It's gonna not be too hard of a butter in the overall formula, making it perfect for a body cream. Next ingredient is going to be emulsifying wax NF. Now this is going to be your emulsification product that you're going to be using in this formula. Now when it comes to emulsifying wax, now hence in the name, it is a wax. So it's going to be a lot thicker. It's going to have more of a waxy feel than your butters and oils are going to have in this formula. Now when it comes to emulsifying wax, I would be careful with the amount that you are using in your formula because again, it is like a, it is like a wax. So you 
are going to feel that tug. I know sometimes when you get like a really thick body cream, you can feel it tugging on your hairs, on your skin, or you can just feel it tugging on your skin in general, just with your hands. And that's not a really good feeling. I don't like the way that that feels. I want something that's a lot more smooth and that glides on. So I love emulsifying wax NF in this formula because you're using it at such a small percent that it's not going to make this lotion too tacky or feel like it's grabby on your skin. Now the next ingredient is going to be satiral alcohol. Now this is going to be a really like powdery consistency. This is a fatty alcohol that we're adding into the formula. Now for this, this is really going to take away like um, any of the greasy feel from this formula. It's going to really help to make it glide on a lot better and make it a lot more of a creamy product. Okay, now this last ingredient, you guys, is very, very important to your overall formula. You cannot go without using this in your formula, and that is a preservative. Now, this is a water-based product. If you do not add a preservative to this, you are going to have a moldy product. You don't want to have that sitting in your bathroom, and you definitely do not want to ship that to someone as a product. You want to make sure that you are sending them something that is safe, that has been preserved, and that will last. So do not do not go without adding a preservative. Now, I, when I say a preservative, I mean a preservative. When you look at it, it says open fiend, you know, preservative. It, it is a preservative. Pheno nip, that's a preservative. Do not use vitamin E, that is not a preservative. No rose hemp oil, none of these things are preservatives and they will not preserve your product. So I really hope I make that clear because I don't want you to not add a preservative. Really important ingredient and you cannot go without your preservatives. Now, when it comes to making body cream, you have three phases that you have to keep in mind when you are making your body cream. So phase one is going to be your water-based uh, ingredients. So you're going to have your distilled water and your glycerin at uh, phase one. Now, phase two is going to be any of your emulsifying and emulsifiers or your butters and oils. So this is going to have your shea butter, is going to have your fractionated coconut oil, you will have your um, emulsifying wax and F, and then you also have the satirical alcohol in this stage. So you want to make sure that you are adding all of those together and letting everything melt together. Now for stage three, this is going to be um, also called the cool down phase. So once everything has cooled and emulsified your lotion, then you are going to have phase three and this is where you're going to add in your fragrance and your preservative. You wanna make sure that you are adding those in at a cool down phase because when it comes to those ingredients, sometimes and most times, if you add them in too hot, then it's going to kill that preservative or kill the scent in your fragrance and you won't have the overall product that you are looking for and then your preservative isn't going to work the way that you need it to. All right, so now we have to talk about the step-by-step -step process of actually making Making this body cream so now for the fun part so when it comes to making your body cream so what you're going to do is you're going to take your distilled water and your glycerin and you're going to mix those two together make sure it's fully incorporated you're gonna set that aside and then now we're going to add in all of our oils and butters so you're gonna add in your fractionated coconut oil your shea butter you're gonna add in the emulsifying wax and F um, and you're adding in the satirical alcohol all in this stage now so now you're going to in a double boiler melt everything down so you are going to add your water your water mixture and you're going to add in phase two which is your oil mixture in at the same time you want them to both come up to the same temperature so that when you are adding adding them together that they will emulsify properly so once everything has uh, melted, you're going to take both of those out of the double boiler and allow them to sit. And then you're going to add the water mixture to the oil. Now this, in my opinion, 
and this is just my opinion, it makes it a lot better to add the water mixture to the oil versus the other way around. And I only say that because that's a water mixture. It's easier to mix that into your oil versus adding your oil to another container and possibly losing those ingredients that you have inside of the bowl. Oh, as, when you're adding in the water to the oil phase, you wanna make sure that you are mixing it already. You're using your spoon or whatever you have and you're mixing it right away as as you're pouring it in so when you're pouring it in you're just mixing now at this point you can already see that the product is emulsifying you can see that it's starting to turn almost like a white it's turning like a white color and this will also determine based off of the type of butters that you are using. I noticed that when I made this with a coffee butter that I could still see that it was brown, but you can see that it was lightening up. And that is how you know that the emulsifying process is happening properly. Now we need to have an immersion blender. Now, when it comes to your immersion blender, I will have this linked down below, but you wanna make sure that you are using an emulsion blender that is for your skincare products only. Do not use the same ones that you use to make your tomato bisque. Use separate immersion blender. So again, I'll have it linked down below that so that you'll be able to snag one. But basically now, we're going to add this to our mixture and we're going to pulse and we're only pulsing. You wanna make sure that that's all you're doing. You are not running the immersion blender and letting it all just mixed up. You don't wanna do that. You just wanna allow it to pulse. And as you're pulsing, you will see the mixture start to thicken a little bit as you're pulsing it. But you don't want to overly mix and you don't want to overly uh, pulse this uh, mixture. You wanna make sure that you do you know, a quick few pulses inside of the mixture get everything emulsified and mixed together and then and then start to hand hand mix it from there and you're going to check it and you're going to allow it to cool down but when it comes to this texture this is a very light it almost reminds me of like a the Pond's face lotion. It's a really light texture here. I really love it. It's really soft on your skin and it didn't feel, it didn't feel too thick, but it didn't feel too loose either. And it felt very, very moisturizing. I can tell that I have shea butter and those other oils inside of this formula. Um, but at this point, as you're, as you're, um, as you're mixing, you wanna allow everything to cool down. I'm going to add in my preservative and my fragrance at the same time. I just put that in its own separate bowl and so kept that to the side. And then I'm gonna add that to my body cream mixture. So now that we have that all mixed up, sometimes you will notice that when you're adding in the preservative and the fragrance, because those are sometimes oil oil based, that you will see that it looks like it's going to start to curd. But don't worry about that. Everything is still all well and good. Just keep mixing it and everything will start to blend in properly to each other and you'll start to see that texture come back. So don't worry if you start to see it curd a little bit. Your product is still safe and everything is going to still come out nice and clean so don't worry about that curd that you start to see happen there so now that we've done that everything is all set when it comes to this body cream now you have a super lightweight body cream that is thick that feels so great on your skin and this is just a really great formula to test and kind of get your feet wet when it comes to actually making body cream um, I love this formula it doesn't feel too tacky on my skin it feels really soft as well and it feels it doesn't feel um it doesn't feel too light i think a formula like this is really great for me when it comes to the summertime because it's not it's really not that thick and it doesn't have as much of that oil as your your body butter does now from a business standpoint you really want to make sure that during the summertime you are still coming out with products that you can come out with um, that aren't you're not going to have any melting issues with and emulsifying products are a really great way to do that you can still have you know that thick feel that you need from your body butter and it still be a really high quality product but it's not too oily and it's not going to melt you know when it's being shipped because that's a really big problem when it really comes down to it i think it's really great to have an a different formula that you are going out with uh, for the summertime and keep the body butters for your more winter and cool months I think that's a really great business model to have so I think it just saves you a lot of time a lot of hassle and a lot of money 
So just be careful when it comes to your, you know, your summer products and your winter now, products. This body cream is a really great starting point to learning how to make emulsifying products. But if you also want to learn how to make a lotion that's also very high margin, then watch this video here where I share a full recipe on making a body lotion and I'll catch you in the next one.